In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack in Keeper's Dissension. To attack in Keeper's Dissension, you can do it various ways. You can attack with pieces, you can attack with cards, or you can attack, attack with pieces, cards, In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack in Keeper's Dissension. In Keeper's Dissension, there are two ways to attack. You can attack with individual pieces, or you can attack with your ability cards. Now, in Keeper's Dissension... <clears throat> Let's say it's my turn. I have five actions to use, and I see that this guy is getting dangerously close to my guys. I want to get rid of him. All right, I'm going to look at my guy's stats real quick. My Keeper has speed of one, a range of one, damage of 1, and HP of 5. So what's important there is that damage of 1. I know I can do one hit in my turn for each action. So I'm going to move him up for one action, and now let's look at the scaler. What does he have? He has a speed of 1, range of 1, a damage of 1, and only 1 HP. He will die in one hit if I can deal it. And I can. As long as he's within my range, and he's in the direction that I can move, I can attack him. So. I can move up and I can attack in the direction I can move, so I'm going to attack him because I can move up. He's in my way, so I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack him, which will kill him because he has one health. So boom, he is gone. Now for killing, I will get loot. And there's a loot system for every piece you kill. You get two strange matter for killing a minion. So I've killed him. I've gotten loot. Let me say that again. Forgot about loot. To explain. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack in Keeper's Ascension and to get loot. In Keeper's Ascension, there are two ways to attack. You can use an individual piece to attack another piece, or you can use your ability cards. First, I'm going to show you how to attack with a piece and get loot. So, I'm going to say it's my turn, and I have five actions. And I see that this guy's getting dangerously close to my other guys. I need to take care of him. All right, well, what can I do? Let's look at my keeper and see what he can do. He has speed of one, a range of one, damage of one, and HP of five. What that means is a speed of one means he can move in one space in any direction that he can. So this guy has no other abilities right now that can make him act differently. So by default, he can only move left, he can move up, he can move down, he can move right. So, if that person was in the way. I just moved him out of the way so he could be. But typically, if he's in the way, I can't move there. But anyway, I know I can move up to here at least. So, I'm going to go, I have five actions, I'm going to go one action, and then for my second, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack him for my amount of damage that I have, which is one. Now, how much health does this scaler have? He has one HP. I can kill him. So I attack him, and he dies. So he goes off the board. For killing a minion, I get two strange matter from the reserves. The reserves are over here, separate from the economy. I get two from the reserves for killing them. And now let's see, that was my action. So I did, I moved, I attacked, I have three actions left. Let's say I do something else and that'd be my turn. But that is how I attacked with my keeper. Now, if, this key, if, my, if that scaler had survived, he'd have actually got a response. There's a response system in Keeper's Dissension. So let's reverse it, and let's let the Scaler attack me and see what happens. Let's say it's the Scaler's turn, or the Snow Theme's turn, and he attacks. So he, go, he moves up one, and he attacks for one. So immediately, I lose health. So I go to my tracker, and I bring it down to four. I take a damage. But since he attacked me and I survived, I get to respond immediately. I get like a free action within his turn. So as a response, I'm gonna hit back and kill him. So he dealt me one damage, but in return he got killed because I am much stronger than him with my health and I killed him. So I would still get two, two loot for that. So let's just say I didn't have any, I'd get two loot for killing him. And it would still be his turn, but he just got himself killed, but he dealt me a damage. So let's replay that. Let's take the strange matter out. Oh, go away. All right, so let's say it's his turn. He moves up one, he hits me for two. I respond immediately because I survived. I hit back, he dies. He has three other actions. Let's say he goes, okay, well, I'm gonna move him and him and him again, and that'd be his turn. 
So, in a sense, I moved within his turn because he attacked me and I survived. So there's an immediate response action that's very important to remember. All right, now let's say he didn't decide to attack me. He decided to attack my mage, which would be probably a little smarter since he could survive it. Let's say it's his turn again. He could go one, two, three. Immediately my mage dies because he only has one health. If you look, he has one HP. Most minions, or all minions as of now, have one HP. He will die. And so he used one, two, three. He still has two moves to get away safely. So he'd go four and then five. He's still within range of my keeper if I used all my actions, but it would cost me all my actions to hunt him down, and I'd be vulnerable in his area of attack. So it would be risky for me to hunt down that scaler. I might do it, but it would be risky. So that would be a better move off the scaler's part. But that's how the actions work, and that's how the attacking works for pieces. Now let's use this, this scout over here for an example. Let's say he wants to attack this keeper. He can, the scout can by default, he has strafe, the ability strafe, which means he can move diagonally. Since he can move diagonally, he can also attack diagonally. So let's say it's his turn, and it's the beginning of his turn, so he has five actions. He goes one, two, three, and now the keeper has an immediate response because he still has five health. So I attack. He goes down one, and now he immediately gets a turn. But look at this, the keeper only gets one action. So the opponent can only move or attack, but since he does not have strafe, he cannot attack me. So he has to move, and that's all he gets to do as a response. So now it's still the scout's turn. And I have two more actions left, because I moved, I moved, and I attacked. That was three actions, and I have two actions left. So what I can do is move again for my fourth action, and attack again for my fifth. Now the Snow Leopard is again at another hit down, and he's at three. So it's not looking good for him. But his free response at the end of my turn, what's he going to do? He might gear up and get ready to attack me, so he probably will. He sets up and gets ready to attack me again. And that's the end of my turn, and now it's my opponent's turn, which he'll probably just end up killing me. But you can see how the difference in attack went with different pieces, since I could move diagonally and my opponent could not. You can only attack in the direction that you can move. Now, if you kill a piece, let's say I killed the keeper, I do not immediately go into a spot. I would have to move there. You do not, like chess, move into the spot you're attacking. You just basically stay in your spot and attack spots next to you. All right, we discussed how pieces can attack other pieces. Now let's talk about how you can use ability cards to attack. Let's go down here and look at what cards I have. I have Snipe. Let's say I use five Strange Matter and I purchase Snipe. It is now in my ability row and it's still my turn. So let's say that was the top of my turn. I bought an ability card for one. Now I have four more actions to do. All right, let's see, what can I do? Hmm, what does this card say? It is, a, it is a damage card. By seeing the red color of it, I know I can do damage with this card. I can attack. So snipe. An attack for the keeper of one damage with up to three range. Oh great. I know that this is an attack for my keeper with one damage and three range by the description of the card. Sorry if my phone keeps going off. All right. So I've used one action to buy this card. Now I'm going to use another action to activate it. So, well first I need to get it in the range because this, is, this damage card only works with three range. Right now I'm not in range of anybody that I'd like to kill other than my own guardian and I don't really want to attack him. This blockader I could attack, but if we look at him, he has an, a special ability called armor, which means he takes up to two damage to kill and I don't really want to waste this ability on him. However, if I just moved over one, I am now within range of this guy. I can kill this opponent over here, the scaler, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I used one action to buy this card I'm going to use another action to move over, that's two. Then I'm going to use Snipe, which will automatically attack a person three range, within three spaces of me, of one damage, with, with one damage. So I use it, which will kill this guy and take him off the board. I used an ability to attack, which basically modified me temporarily for that turn. And now I get two loot for that. Perfect, that worked out great for me. And now I still have two actions left. Let's see, what do I want to do? And then I just move up two spots. All right, so that's an example of how you can use ability cards to attack. Now, there are, there are multiple number of ability cards, and they're all different. So what you have to do is look at the card and read it to see what it can do and go off the limitations and the directions of the card itself. Now, in Keeper's Ascension, you can also self-inflict damage. You say, now, why in the world would you ever want to do that? Because of the different ability cards that you have. They can sometimes say that if you have lower health, you get an advantage. So then you might want to have lower health. 
So if you did want to self-inflict damage, so right now my keeper has one damage, so I can say, all right, I'm going to take four actions and take myself down to one. So I would be at five, and I'd say, okay, four, three, two, one. Now I'm at one health. Or if you wanted to get loot off of your own people, you can do that. I could say, all right, I'm going to let my scout kill himself. So my scout just self-inflicts himself and kills him for one damage. I get the loot for that. So even for your own pieces, as long as you're the person responsible for killing a piece, you get the loot, even if it's your own piece. So any piece that dies, whoever's responsible gets the loot for that. For each minion that's killed, there's two strange matter that's looted. For each keeper that's killed, there's five strange matter plus what's stored. Now that's interesting. Now let's look at this for an example. Let's say I'm at one health now, and I have this much strange matter that I'm holding. And let's say it's my opponent's turn and he has five actions for the beginning of his turn. He takes his blockader, it goes one, two, three, and hits me for one. Now typically I'd respond if I survived, but I do not survive because I only have one health. I die. When a keeper dies, he responds immediately on his life force row. So I'm gonna respond here. Immediately my life force will lose five health and all my loot will go to my opponent. Any loot that I'm holding will go to my opponent. I will give that to him he will also get five from the reserves. So that is a huge reward to kill my keeper, because not only does he put me at a disadvantaged spot back here on my life force row, I'm out of the action, he takes life from my life force, he takes all my money, and he gets five from the reserves. Killing keepers is a huge part of this game and is a good idea to do, because you can easily win the game if you're doing that multiple times. Now, if you kill a guardian, you will get 10 strange matter. If we look down here at this card, dead guardians equals 10 strange matter. So if he can somehow come over here and get my guardian to die and be the reason he died, he will get 10 strange matter, which is a lot of money. And that is how you attack and get loot in Keeper's Dissension.